During the recent years, space technologies have taken a significant step forward. Private corporations are actively selling tourist trips for flights to low Earth orbit, while the governments of leading world powers are preparing to send astronauts for the construction of lunar bases. Today, we present to you a selection of the heaviest launch vehicles in the history of the space industry. Enjoy watching. Let's start with China, which has actively joined the space race. The country is not only actively working within its own space strategy, but also inviting everyone interested to participate. In particular, the Chinese orbital station in a regular operation at the end of 2022. One of the most interesting Chinese projects is the Heavy Long March 5 rocket, also known as Changjing 5. It can carry up to 25 tons to low Earth orbit, and its key feature is modularity. Modules from other rockets of the same generation can be easily integrated into the Long March 5 rocket. This is why the Chinese are testing several versions of the rocket during trials. A two-stage version is used for reaching low Earth orbit. A four-stage version is for launching geostationary satellites and interplanetary spacecraft. By the way, China has ambitious plans for space. For example, there are plans to place a robotic station on the moon's south pole. Despite the fact that the Long March 5 rocket has not been sufficiently tested for such launches, this means that China has grandiose plans for space exploration, which it will certainly strive to accomplish. Let's move to the United States. We're going to talk about the SLS rocket and the Artemis 1 mission, NASA's ambitious plan for lunar exploration. However, the Americans' lunar aspirations are not limited to just that. SLS, or Space Launch System, is a super heavy launch vehicle capable of carrying up to 131.5 tons to low Earth orbit. Thanks to this rocket, the Orion spacecraft was launched into space last year. Orion then made an autonomous flight to the moon and returned safely to Earth. Now NASA is planning the Artemis 2 mission, which will be crewed. Artemis 3 will involve a landing on the natural satellite. Through the Artemis mission, NASA will send the first woman and the first person of color to the moon. We will collaborate with commercial and international partners and establish the first long-term presence on the moon. Then we will use what we learn on and around the moon to take the next giant leap, sending the first astronauts to Mars. These statements were made by official representatives of NASA. We will be closely monitoring the further developments of these space programs. This is the Russian Universal Launch Vehicle Proton-M. 112 launches of this particular version and 426 launches of the entire family are far from being jokes. The rocket is often referred to as the most massive space truck for a reason. The rocket's development began as early as 1960. The project was named UR, Universal Rocket. The concept was to have four launchers for a wide range of tasks, from defense to space exploration. For instance, the UR-100 served as an intercontinental ballistic missile, while the UR-500, later known as Proton, was designed for placing various heavy payloads into orbit. As of today, the Proton-M rocket is capable of delivering 23.7 tons of cargo to low Earth orbit. Moreover, the potential for further development and improvement of the rocket continues to exist. For example, in 2016, the fourth stage of modernization of the Proton-M was completed, named Breeze-M. Here is probably the most famous rocket among the general public, the creation of SpaceX's Elon Musk, the Falcon Heavy. It was this rocket that sent a Tesla car into space with the Starman dummy astronaut seated inside. The Falcon Heavy conducted its first successful test flight on February 6, 2018. The first commercial launch was carried out on April 11, 2019. At the time of its introduction, it was the most powerful heavy lift and capable operational launch vehicle. Additionally, the Falcon Heavy has 28 engines, which is also a record. The rocket can easily carry up to 64 tons of payload into space. It is known that an ambitious project involving the Falcon Heavy is scheduled for 2024. The rocket has been chosen to deliver the Viper Lunar Rover. This rover will search for valuable resources and water ice, with the mission expected to last about 100 days. Another American Super Heavy launch vehicle, the Saturn V, is no less famous than the Falcon Heavy. It played an important role in the first moon landing and set several records that remain unbroken to this day. For instance, it is the largest rocket ever created by humanity in terms of mass, power, size, and payload capacity. While a modern Proton rocket can carry 22 tons to low Earth orbit, the Saturn V could lift 140 tons. 
The first Saturn V launch took place in 1967, with the last one in 1973. Great capabilities required substantial investments. From 1964 to 1973, the U.S. government allocated approximately $6.5 billion to the program. One launch cost about $1.2 billion, a considerable price, especially considering the 1973 oil crisis. However, today, the U.S. is actively working on the Super Heavy SLS rocket program, with its first crewed launch expected in 2024. Unfortunately, it is unlikely that the Saturn V will ever launch again. Technology has advanced significantly, and the rocket itself is now considered obsolete. Nevertheless, the Saturn V will forever remain a rocket that has made its mark in the history of space exploration. Starship is the name of a fully reusable transportation system developed by SpaceX. It consists of a spacecraft of the same name and a booster called Super Heavy. Starship is the largest rocket ever built. The combined mass of Starship and Super Heavy, when fully fueled, is approximately 5,000 tons with a height of 120 meters. Heavy Stage is powered by 33 Raptor engines using methane as fuel and liquid oxygen as the oxidizer. The Starship spacecraft is equipped with six Raptor engines. In its reusable configuration, it will be able to deliver 100 to 150 tons of cargo to low Earth orbit. Starship is set to become the first fully reusable space system in history. Both the booster and the spacecraft will be reused, significantly reducing launch costs. According to Elon Musk, within two to three years of operation, the cost of launching Starship will decrease to less than $10 million. In comparison, the launch cost of NASA's SLS rocket, with lower payload capacity than Starship, is approximately $4 billion. However, Starship is currently in the testing phase. The next test launch of the rocket is about to begin, and we sincerely hope that Elon Musk and SpaceX will succeed in launching Starship into space this time. The Delta IV rocket was first launched in 2002 and continues to be used in the United States. The rocket was developed as part of a program for single-use launch vehicles and belongs to the Delta family. Its primary purpose is to launch commercial satellites and U.S. military assets. The Delta IV consists of two stages and uses cryogenic fuel components, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. On August 22, 2019, the last launch of the medium configuration rocket took place, and future launches will only be performed in the heavy configuration due to its high cost, ranging from $164 million to $400 million. Depending on the version, the Delta IV is primarily used for launching Department of Defense satellites and those of the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office. The Delta IV Heavy possesses one of the largest payload capacities among all operational launch vehicles in the world, even though it can deliver 28 0.8 tons to orbit in a single launch. Unfortunately, as mentioned earlier, the launch cost is very high at $400 million. Atlas rockets are often referred to as the pioneers of American space exploration, as they have been used to explore space since the 1960s. However, the Atlas rocket is also interesting because it is a joint product of the U.S. and Russian space industries. The modern Atlas V rocket is a two-stage rocket, with the first stage powered by the RD-180 engine produced by the Russian company Energomash. The spacecraft is developed by Lockheed Martin, which has designed the rocket for commercial flights, as well as for the needs of the U.S. Air Force. The Atlas rocket has been used in the most significant space missions conducted by NASA. For instance, it was used in the New Horizons program, designed to explore Pluto and its moons. Another important research program, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, is dedicated to comprehensive studies of Mars. The length of the rocket is 61 meters. The Atlas V 500 series can carry payloads weighing up to 18.51 tons. The rocket is known for its high reliability, with only two launch failures recorded, while more than 80 launches have been successful and in accordance with the original plan. On July 8, 2011, the final launch of the Space Shuttle Atlantis marked the end of the era of space shuttles. Space shuttles had been in operation since April 12, 1981. With the launch of the infamous Columbia Shuttle, a total of five shuttle orbiters were built, each of which completed missions in space. Two of them, Challenger and Columbia, tragically ended in disasters resulting in the loss of 14 lives. These shuttles deployed numerous satellites and automated interplanetary stations into space, serviced satellites, and safely brought them back to Earth. Thousands of scientific experiments were conducted aboard these shuttles. 
It was with the help of these space planes that the International Space Station was constructed, a project that would not have been possible without them. The space shuttle had a liftoff mass of 2030 tons with a payload capacity of 24.4 tons. The launch of Atlantis on July 8, 2011 marked the 135th and final flight of the space shuttle program. Write in the comments which of the rockets shown today impressed you the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. See you later.